Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you're well Cancer. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy and message for the week. They are a bit late, I just had a ridiculously busy week last week. <laughs> so let's see what we have for you overarching message oh we have number 20 know your fears message for cancer please angels spirits guides message for our lovely cancerians for the week please okay the card is turned over we have truth and integrity okay so that is to go with know with your fears I'm going to pull three cards, Cancer, as we always do, you know, by now. Uh, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Cancer for the week, please. What does Cancer need to hear the most for the week? Okay. Card has turned over. King of Pentacles in the challenge position. Advice from Spirit, the Knight of Swords, near future outcome, we have the Hierophant. Two cards of Taurus here. You might be dealing with a Taurus in whatever context this is for you. Let's um, clarify. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirit's Guide, message for Cancer. And the court cards are male or female energies because it's a general reading. It wouldn't be in a personal. Okay. What do we have for cancer, please? Message for cancer. Thank you. Twelfth to the eighteenth of April, twenty twenty one. Message for the week. Thank you. So we have the Ace of Swords. The star, and we have the two of cups here, Cancer. Oh my goodness, we've got the knight of cups. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships with these cups energies. Um, it feels like you're it's interesting because there's energies of wanting progress here. And know your fears is an interesting one. I mean, whether there's a fear factor to do with this relationship or potential relationship. The King of Pentacles is generally an energy, male or female, like I said, somebody who is solid, stable, secure, successful, very good in terms of money and career, a provider, a breadwinner, male or female energy. Um, but somebody who means what they say, you know, they don't, it, there's no kind of, uh, they're just very much, they are who they are. They mean what they say. There's a real kind of like grassroots honesty to the King of Pentacles. So it definitely feels in this situation with this swords energy, the Ace of Swords, which can be linked to new beginnings. I mean, you're either getting clarity from somebody maybe getting some clarity, hearing some clarity, um, or they're getting clarity in how they want to move forward. You know, the, the Ace of Swords is a clarifying energy. It's also a card of truth. Um, maybe speaking their truth, expressing their truth. So let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles for Cancer, please. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So... 
he's he's offering a new beginning that's solid, stable, secure. You know, the 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 Ace of Pentacles is the first step in our conscious reality. It's very good in terms of business, finance offers, career offers, job offers. But it's also about the building blocks of a foundational relationship. So I'm definitely getting in this energy. For some of you, there is... It feels like there's an exciting new beginning coming here. You might not have the clarity yet, or they're just getting the clarity. I mean, certainly in the challenge position, this can feel um, clouded. I'm just getting inner clarity on how I want to move forward. But it definitely feels in this energy... There is some kind of offer coming from this person and it's a new beginning energy. Now, the Ace of Pentacles can also be about moving, relocating. So maybe moving in together. It, it could be to do with a proposal as well. Uh, it just feels very beautiful. So lovely, lovely energy here because where there's, there's, there's clarity coming here, then there's the conversation that is bringing progress and change you know the the star is an energy of hope faith renewal optimism uh reasons to be hopeful um also a definite energy of you are abs between these two you are absolutely on the right path because there could be some conversation communication coming your way that is just saying this path that you're on is blessed and it feels to do with a relationship here and a conversation it feels like there's an important conversation coming in a relationship and either, yeah, I'm definitely getting next level energy for some of you. I mean, yes, this could be a new relationship as well, but it definitely feels like um, for some of you, it will be next level energy. Uh, but absolute hope, optimism, feel good energy. You are exactly where you need to be with this energy. It's absolutely beautiful. So if there's, if you're waiting on clarity to do with some kind of decision, moving relocating or taking something to the next level i'm feeling can be new love as well for some of you it definitely feels that somebody's making a commitment to you in whatever context this is remember the hierophant can be to do with marriage a uh, committed relationship and it definitely feels that this is the bond growing between two people so i'm definitely getting this energy of um an offer, an opportunity, an exchange, a heartfelt exchange, you know, there's definitely this energy that is linked to, like I said, I mean, this can be proposal energy, this can be moving in together energy, uh, yes, this can be also starting new love energy, but it's a lovely, lovely energy of something that is solid, stable, secure. Um, Germany the Hierophant represents uh, a relationship that is something that has a, a significant, a good length of time to it. Um, and then we have the Knight of Cups, which is the offer, the opportunity. Um, and that's in terms of love. So somebody is expressing their feelings and it feels love. And again, the Knight is all about change, uh, but it's a happy change, you know? There's definitely this energy of some conversation here that is absolutely hopeful, that is, you are going in the absolute right direction here. If you've been wondering about where are we heading, um, or you've been asking somebody about that, it feels like you're going to get clarity this week in terms of where this is going. And it's going somewhere beautiful, let me tell you. Yeah, so I, I love this energy. There's just such happiness here. The exchange of the caps is definitely an energy as you give happiness to somebody else they give happiness and love to you so i love this energy deep connection here um so yeah it, it just feels like there's progress in a relationship um someone is showing you commitment however it resonates for you love the energy cancer very very beautiful indeed whatever this fear is i just feel for some of you that it, it just feels there's a lack of clarity here. Interesting. I mean, I kind of had a similar daily tarot reading for the 12th. Um, and I'm doing these readings on the 11th, so for the for the week ahead. So it might well be that's picking up a little bit of that energy too for you, because it was quite similar. 
but you might be dealing with a Taurus it's not limited to that but it feels like you know th there's this energy of you know once they're clear in terms of making a commitment they are they are in 110 percent in okay exciting so what do we have for cancer please angels spirits guides message for cancer thank you final message for cancer thank you okay i've got three cards there so let's just go with it <laughs> We have protection, panther, consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Interesting. Um, and I think it's it's also in terms of what's where you place your energy, you know, because this can be a negative energy. So there's definitely an energy of put a try and put a cap on this kind of thing, on fear, on doubt, on uncertainty, because, you know, the star is a clarity energy as well. Everything is going to become clear. So we have Lama, soul growth. Yeah, lovely. Soul growth is never easy. Have faith and trust in the journey. Yeah, and this is soul growth. You know, this is a lovely energy, kindred spirits. And then we have sea turtle conservation, make conscious choices. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.